what do you think about Pokemon Go? Like that craze that started the 2015-2016 era of people I, um, in real life, adults, children, everyone, literally glued to their phone for hours on end. I uh, unfortunately I didn't really get into it. I kind of I do wish I did, but at the end of the day, I'm not too mad that I didn't get into it because I don't I don't think the game was good, which is why I didn't really get into yeah. it. I really did try. Like I downloaded it and it was very glitchy when it first came out and yep. it didn't really work all that well when it first came out. And so I tried, tried, tried to get it to work and I just couldn't get it to work right. I remember I was in a hotel when it came out. I was watching my brother. My brother was in the pool. I was sitting by the pool when I was trying to get it to work and I just couldn't get it to work. Um, and I tried for like a week. Like I stopped three days later. I tried again. Anyway, I just couldn't get it to work and I was like, whatever, fuck it. And then on top of that, I didn't think the game was that good anyway. When I did see it played, it was whatever. But I think it's really cool what it did for just the fucking world. Yes. Like everybody was just like so communal Pokemon, and friendly. Like I know you played it a lot. I rejected Pokemon Go when it first came out. I remember I was at Nationals. I feel like I was at Nationals, for, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals in maybe 2015. Um, and it was in Pittsburgh. Something, something in Pittsburgh. Like a vague memory of that. And everyone was playing it. I remember Jeff Jones talking about it. I remember a lot of other players talking about Pokemon Go. And I just was like, I'm absolutely just not here for that at all. Like, I didn't know what it was really, but I just was like, I'm not, I'm not a Pokemon player anymore. I'm kind of done with that. And then I got home from that trip and I started like seeing YouTube videos and then certain people walking down the street, just like staring at their phone. Like, what the fuck is everybody in the trance about this game for? So I downloaded it naturally. Everybody. I downloaded it naturally and I started playing it. Next thing I knew, I was literally hooked to Pokemon Go for like yeah. several months. And this is when the, uh, the tracker was broke. So like, you know, if, when I first started playing it, the tracker kind of worked. Like you can see like, oh, there's a Venusaur there. And, you know, the closer you get to it, like the bigger or whatever it would get. At some point, the tracker just broke. Like it just did not work. And the company wasn't very good at the way they dealt with like PR. Like they didn't say if they were going to fix it really. They just kind of like dirtled around. The game had made $25 billion dollars in like a year or something crazy like that so like they were super rich at this point and I, and i just felt like we have been discarded like all the customers have been discarded and i still played it for so long I, every day so here's how bad it was i would be at work remember i'm an accountant so i would be at work and i would have my phone on uh do not turn off screen so like my screen would never turn off and i would just be <laughs> sitting there st- like i would be working but i would also be just have my phone like kind of on the side so that I could always like watch if a Pokemon just popped up in my area. Cause like where my job was, my job I think was actually a gym back then. And uh, so like randomly like Pokemon was just like, you know, they'd be wandering around and I would get so excited. And sometimes I would even be like, Hey, I'm going to the bathroom real quick. And I would legit walk, my man. walk out of my job to like walk around the building to like get a Pokemon. That's how crazy it was. It got me walking outside. Like I used to walk to hatch eggs. You, you, know that, you and your roommate what went on walks. Yes. You guys it, went on walks. Yeah. Like I used to walk with my friend Medina all the time. Uh too. We we walked far. We walked the entire center city of Philadelphia and we would meet people. Like, we would meet random strangers on the street and we would become like groups for the day. Like we wouldn't even become like long term friends or anything. We would just be like, Today I just happened to stumble upon this group and me and him would just follow them around and we would all be like looking for like, oh shit, there's a charger there. And we would sometimes run for Pokemon. Like you'd see something and you'd be like, everyone's running towards it. And you'd see people down the street running. And you're like, oh shit, like something must be over there. It was crazy. Yeah, like I, so I, I, and at the time, I'm a full on adult at this point. Like I am fully an that's adult. So sick. And I was so hypnotized and, and just like, I couldn't get out of it. I, I was in a trance. I, I used to be at work and think about getting off of work just to play Pokemon. I didn't care about anything else. I wanted to get home, change my clothes and immediately go back out to play Pokemon for like up until like midnight. Like I would even, I get home and I wouldn't even think about anything else. I barely would eat. Like I would just be like, I want to play Pokemon Go. That was all I did. So next to my house is a gym as well. And I used to defend the gym. Like I, I was a, was it Mystic? Team Mystic, so I was blue. Yeah. And I used to defend the gyms that were like in my area and put my Pokemon up. And every time somebody would take them, I would like wake up at like 3 a.m. and check. And if they were taken, I That's would so take them. Really I was, I was crazy. I was a psychopath. Like I full on just at an addict. Like I, I have a very addictive personality, which is why I don't do certain things because I just don't trust myself enough because I'm so – one, I'm very competitive. And two – Did you end up spending any money on the game? Because so, like 
a lot of those phone games, some people end up fucking going so bankrupt playing. Let's talk about that because that's how I knew I was getting a little too far into Pokemon Go. I started to swipe my credit card for Pokemon Go. Ooh, and, uh, it gets it got, bad. It got bad. <laughs> um, I needed uh, incubators and I needed more Pokeballs. And I started to buy incubators because that was like the back, like, like I don't know how the game is now, but like the you know the meta thing to do at the time was like you know you need incubators to hatch eggs, and eggs could be pretty much anything. So I used to spend mm. money on a daily basis on Pokemon Go. Excuse me, I was cashing out like a madman. I I couldn't help Ooh. myself. Like I was cashing out, and so I spent a couple hundred dollars in a really short amount of time, right? And they wouldn't fix the fucking tracker. So I remember my friend started to quit out of frustration. Like Medina quit, like other people started to quit out of frustration. And I was the last one holding on because I, I just was like so, in, I loved it so much. And it got to a point where I said, you know what? Cold I didn't turkey. even know this tracker issue because I didn't play. So I didn't even know about this whole tracker Oh yeah, issue like the, the tracker was a big deal because like you could find Pokemon and then you just, like it got to a point where you just couldn't. Like you, anything you found was random for a while, like months, like literally months, you would be going around, walking around the city and you wouldn't know what you're going to run into, which, you know, that's kind of cool. But I guess because the game was presented originally with a tracker, everyone was so, like, focused on having one. And so the company got a lot of shit for that. But anyway, uh, I spent a lot of money on the game, and everyone started quitting. Eventually, when I started learning that people were, like, location spoofing themselves uh, to get stuff, I was like, all right, at this point, like, I'm not about to get involved in the whole location spoofing thing like if people are just going to have so certain pokemon were locked to like the uk or like europe um, yeah i heard about this yeah and like china and stuff like that like i think like certain countries had certain pokemon you can only get and i would start to see them in my area a little too much and i was like there's no way right like there's just no way so that started to make me like a little sad just i didn't want to play it as much and then i just finally stopped i stumbled upon a reddit thread that was like you can actually get back all of your money if you go on apple the apple store go to the Pokemon Go app and basically write this exact thing. So the guy like put exactly what you need to write. And I like did, I did exactly that. It said, essentially I got into this game under the assumption or like the presumption that, you know, the tracker would be fixed in a certain amount of time. The company said they would fix it or whatever. And it never has been done. It's been, it's been months on months on months. It still hasn't been fixed. This game is basically not what I originally purchased. And so Apple refunded every single penny that oh. I spent on Pokemon Go, like everything, like, oh. I mean, my entire whatever I spent got completely Man. refunded. I'm talking about everything, and it was like it, it was almost immediate. Like it was the same day they refunded everything, right? So I was like, wow. Um, so then I went into my Pokemon Go file, like I opened my file up to see like what the file looked like now because I bought all these incubators and Pokeballs and shit, right? So I went into the file, and I still had all the gold and incubators and everything, and I was like, wow, that like that's like kind of, kind of crazy. Like I was able to buy stuff and then get my money back for it. And I still have the stuff. So then at that point, right. I was like, okay, I'm not going to scumbag. I said, I'm still completely quitting this game. And I just never played it again. Like literally I have not played Pokemon go since like 2016, I literally never went back to it. My fa- I still have Pokemon go downloaded on my phone and my character's probably still on whatever the, like I wasn't max level, but whatever the max level was at the time, I'm really, close to it i would say and i still have all yeah, this like if it's 50 or 47 yeah, yeah yeah i was probably like 47 or something like that but whatever the max level i think it might have been 40 but whatever the max level was i was like kind of close to it but i just completely stopped playing and haven't opened it up. i don't even know what happens if i open it up now like i don't even know what it looks like i haven't even touched yeah. it but it's still just like on my phone um because every time my, i get a new iphone it just auto downloads like all the apps that i've always had and i uh, wish i would love for pokemon go but it to be more similar to a normal Pokemon game. I get that this would be kind of ridiculous, but imagine if it looks like gold and silver, right? It looks like a Game Boy game, but it's they map out all of America, right? So they, they just map out America, and right. then but they put Game Boy graphics on it. And as you walk around, you have like a little sprite that's walking around, like <laughs> Game Boy America. Yeah, that would be cool. Like, that'd be, and then it's like, the Pokemon and everything was more like normal Pokemon stats yeah, and normal Pokemon Because that's moves. your gripe with it, right? You said it wasn't a good game, and I get why. Because you know real Pokemon, like the original Pokemon. Pokemon Go was basically like you throw balls at the Pokemon, you catch them. Battling wasn't a thing yeah, at the, the time. Like, battling, like if I remember correctly, now I didn't play, but from a lot of what I 
heard and talked to people and watched battling. A lot of it came down to like, like you had like three stats and like your HP, like HP yeah. was the most important stat. Yeah, like yeah, Vaporeon, yeah. I think was like the meta Pokemon at some point because it Vaporeon was, yeah. just had huge HP. Yeah. Pokemon with big HP were like, yeah. And the way battling worked, like you just mashed the screen. You just, you just kept clicking the screen and your Pokemon would keep throwing out attacks as fast as like they could. It was not real Pokemon. Hey guys, if you like this clip, we have full video versions of our podcast episodes available on the I Am There Patreon, as well as exclusive content. If you'd like to listen to our full podcast episodes or find us on any other social media platforms, you can do so by clicking the link tree below.